Hello, so we are back and this time we have a proper nice laptop to repair. This is a Lenovo Legion Pro. Check this screen. Uh -huh. This really looks like a nice laptop. Pressing the power button, dead. Uh, the customer sent me a letter. Lenovo Legion Pro 5. That was running. However, switch installed off and it will not turn back on. No lights. Turn on, beeps are heard, fans don't spin. So the laptop is beeping. Holding down the power button, the power drain method from the forum, try different power supplies, including USB-C adapters, try resetting the RAM SSD Wi-Fi card, and many other things. He checked the, the motherboard for obvious crack burn components. A gentleman called Richard. You know, it's a gamey laptop. Gamey laptops, they they either work or they have like bad faults. I will say, let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. Yeah. I don't want to plug the power, but the laptop is proper, proper heavy. We spoke so many times about gaming laptops. And the only way to preserve them and have them working is actually keep them cool you keep them cool by you know clean heat sink and fans and uh, fresh thermal paste and the laptop it's open yeah proper nice check here so uh, yeah every coil has a heat sink so this heat sink but this heat pipe it's only for coils Definitely, it's a proper nice motherboard. Hmm. Can you spot anything wrong here? The customer said the battery appears to be fully charged. Let's check the voltage on the main power rail. So, the voltage on the main power rail, we have here some capacitors, and it looks like it's zero volts. Let's check on a different place, like here. And the voltage on the main power rail looks like it's zero volts. We can check here also. And it's 14.8. So I was wrong. That's why it's good to check like on three different places. Uh, if the main power rail is... Actually, I, I could check the, the battery. Yeah, 14.8. So the battery looks like has power. 14.8, but has to be 15.4. So this battery... So this battery, fully charged, will be, should be like 17 volts or 17 point something. Probably like 17.4. Yeah. So uh, the battery is discharged, actually. So I'm not sure how we can approach this repair. This is unusual, a laptop without the main power rail being shorted. Or... The way we approach is actually checking the coils first. That's how we should do it, right? And it's not about the CPU and GPU coils. No. It's about the other coils. Let's see. This coil is good. This one is 41 ohms. It's okay. This one is good. This one probably is the charging coil. This one looks good. Yeah, that's the output. I mean, the coils are looking good. Of course, we should have more coils. So I'm going to take the shields out. Remember, on the past, we like waste time. Then at the end, we check the coils and we found some shorted coils. Let's not do the same mistake. Here we have some coils, so I believe the 5 volts and the 3.3 coil. So this one is fine. Zero ohms. Check on the screen. Zero ohms. So the 5 volts coil has zero ohms. I'm pretty sure this is the 5 volts one. You can see it's next to the USB. Yeah, you have a capacitor here. Why the 5 volts coil? It will have zero ohms. Mm -hmm. It is a good question or not? 
Let me take the shield out just to have a better view on the motherboard. I'm gonna take the thermal camera. Huh? Someone said easy pizza. <laughs> if we are not taking the board out, yeah. Then it is a easy pizza. So ground. Let's lower the voltage down to like one volt. Coming with the current here and it's taking 3.7 amps with one amp with one volt sorry and what is getting hot what is here it's getting hot something there but probably on the other side of the board right one more time Check there, you can see a heat spot, but on the other side of the board. Nah, the motherboard is cool. Yeah, you know I'm happy, you know I'm happy. Because when you have like gaming laptops, CPU, GPU stuff, you know. Yeah. So clearly it's here somewhere on the other side of the board. Yeah. So we have to take the board out. No other way around, so it's not easy pizza. But it is fixable. Yeah, that's what it's important. We made uh, we made a few videos and a video like probably like last week. Why five volts power is important. Yeah, that's why. That's why. And five volts probably I mean you don't have three point three outside of the laptop. But 5 volts, we have the USB, yeah, 5 volts. You can, uh, you know, put a lot of pressure on the 5 volts power supply from outside. So the, that power rail has a lot of interaction with outside uh, devices. So that can explain why, uh, you know, the 5 volts power supply can fail. Yeah, it's a big coil, I mean... Maybe you are using the 5 volts, like the USB, with a USB stick. But the people are there charging the phones by the, by the USB. A phone on the USB can take around 2 amps. So yeah, that can put some pressure on the, on the 5 volts power supply. And the heat sink, it's out. Wow, what is that, AMD? Yeah, it must be AMD. Not sure what GPU it is, but here we don't have thermal paste. No, it's uh, the Honeywell thermal pad. Okay. Good. And the motherboard is nearly out. We have a ribbon cable on the other side of the board here. Yeah. Yeah, the board is out. Uh, what is here? Okay, that's bad. So here is the is the PD controller, right? Yeah, that can be the problem. Huh. Let's check the board under the microscope. Yeah, remember we found like a few days ago we found the five volts power rail shorted exactly like here. And here is the 5 volts. Well, let's check with ground. So checking with ground, 0 ohms. Here is ground 0 ohms. Yeah, so this power rail is shorted. So I'm going to come with the uh, with power supply. Uh, no, it's no point taking the thermal camera. We can take some alcohol. Yeah, like that. Let's see. So 5 volts here. Why the alcohol is spinning around that capacitor? Huh? This one. 3.6 amps. You can't see it, right? 
so power on and you can see it's getting evaporated on that capacitor the next capacitor still has alcohol on it but this one not do you think it can be that simple just a capacitor but you know what is strange for uh, is strange because we have one volt right and the voltage is like yeah it's one volt with four amps i mean i was really expecting more heat to be generated by uh, by this short so i'm not yet convinced actually that's the problem let me let me grab the thermal camera I mean, you have to understand, you have 5 volts, uh, 5 amps, like 1 volt, that's 5 watts. It's a lot of heat from 5 watts. So with a thermal camera, uh, what is that? Yeah, it's that capacitor. Yeah, the capacitor is gone. Ha! Can't believe and on the video we done it like a few days ago it was exactly a capacitor on the five volts power rail by exactly this configuration this chip everything was different laptop well yeah and the capacitor it's out do we still have short From here to here, no, no shirt, you can see, no shirt, no, nothing, no. Wow, what a fault. And the capacitor, the capacitor, you can see on the screen, has zero ohms. Yeah, great. Based on um, our uh, cold, I will say, yeah, no capacitor, no short capacitor. Or if you like the other one, you're going to replace the capacitor on the next video. Yeah, whichever works for you better. Just joking. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab another capacitor. I see on the past the people really get triggered by. Uh, not replacing the capacitor okay this capacitor is too big let's find another one smaller one smaller capacitor buy one at the same from the main power rail yeah like this one The capacitor is out. Let's solder the capacitor. But the funny part is, even on the V, because we made some videos replacing the capacitor, I seen their comments like, oh, you replace with a second hand part? <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't make everyone happy. So if you ask me, I'm doing this for you. If it will be after me or I will not be on a video, I will not replace the capacitor. So what do you think? You have like... Uh, this This must be over a thousand pound, this laptop. Over a thousand pound laptop and it's dying because of a capacitor. Hmm? You know what is making me sad? It's making me sad because there are a lot of laptops we like with a shorter capacitor. Probably half of the Dell laptops they are there because of a shorter capacitor. The sad part is they will never reach a technician to, you know, just remove the capacitor and bring them back to life. This is the sad part. I mean, you can see most of the jobs like 49% shorter capacitor, 49% short atmosphere. Yeah, nothing else. Maybe like 1% like shorted ICs.
good so everything looks fine let's uh, plug the battery I'm not sure if the laptop be tool uh, here it was a connector right oh lol okay and there was one I forgot about this good let's plug the battery battery is plugged in uh, pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on check here and we have keyboard backlight yeah what about picture can we have picture yeah the heat sink is getting warm And we have picture, huh? What do you think about that? Yeah, we don't have any M2 drive, but the laptop it is working fine. All good. Yeah, no boot device. Perfect. We uh, got our pizza for today. Uh, I'm not going to keep you here. I'll put it all back together. But you see, the rules are there for a purpose. So we check the coil first before anything, and we found the problem. 5 volts coil, huh? So I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey! If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.